Hi, this is Kenneth Jones with Coldwell Banker Commercial in Gulfport, Mississippi. Uh, we're going to bring you the Pulse newsletter through video format this time. Um, the first project I want to talk about is the aquarium in downtown Gulfport. It's an $80 million project. $20 million of it is going to be spent on animals and $56 million is going to be spent on construction. It is scheduled to open up in 2019 and we're really excited to see how this is going to affect the east side of Highway 49. Um, the Mississippi Gulf Coast has been named by several online sources as well as trade publications one of the top places to retire and the nation especially as far as affordability. I think with all the baby boomers retiring all over the country, this creates a tremendous opportunity for the Mississippi Gulf Coast to diversify our tax base. And I think you'll see several developers take advantage of this and develop some active retirement communities along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Uh, there's a new hotel in Pass Christian by restaurateur Jordan Nico. The hotel will offer a salon and spa, six rooms, four suites, and a 2,000 square foot condo at the top. Um, Thomas Jennon has opened up a new blind tiger in front of Harris Casino in Biloxi. Thomas um, also sold his Ajax location in Gulfport to Felix's Oyster House. And I think Thomas is one to focus on his Ajax um, I'm sorry, the Blind Tiger concept that has done very well um, in his expansion. Bob Taylor has opened up the Rack House in downtown Gulfport in the old lookout space. Um, went there last week, amazing food, amazing drinks, and I really hope that you take a chance to check it out as well. Um, next week we'll be talking about some uh, Bay St. Louis. Uh, they're actually developing some condos in Old Town. Um, and Ocean Springs, a very large project along Bienville Boulevard on uh, otherwise known as Highway 90. And then the last thing we'll be talking about is a couple of proposed casinos, one in Biloxi and one in Diagraville. Thanks for listening.